Hello, good morning. Welcome to Kononia Devotional today. I'm Bjorn Olajeli, Senior Pastor of Spirit Chapel International Church. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. By the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit, I announce favor over you. I announce success upon your efforts in the name of Jesus. I see a child that is sick and I declare the name of Jesus over that child. Let the healing power of God travel through the vein, the body, in the name of Jesus. I correct that imbalance, that sickness goes in the name of Jesus. I speak by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Who is this man listening to me? I see the realm of the Spirit. I see you about to decide from where you walk. I declare it shall not stand in the name of Jesus. The opinion of that person will not stand in the name of Jesus. I remember just recently a woman rushed into my office. She happens to be a manager in a place called Food Co. somewhere in Akoba in Ibadan. And she told me how that there was a plan. They had put out suspension and there was a plan. They said we're going to sad. have her sad. Then she came to the office and she had you know that issue to talk to me about and some other issues i said that one forget about it and i just slammed my, my feet on the floor i said it is over just exactly as i said i told her i said in few days time they're going to call you the case is over she came two days after and she called and said pastor thank you and she told me that instead of them sacking her they replaced that they put her back to her managerial position and guess what i pray the same for someone here today in the name of jesus whoever is planning and arranging to disgrace you have to take your place in the name of Jesus. May they lose their own place in the name of Jesus. Whatever value or influence they have over that person, I command in the name of Jesus, it is destroyed. Who is using charms to retard you? Who is using charms to retard you? Who is fighting you in the realm of the spirit, but you are just fighting this person physically? I declare in the name of Jesus, may the heavens disgrace these people in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, though I'm joining hand, yet the wicked will not go unpunished. I pray for you that God will punish everyone fighting you, everyone working against you. In the name of Jesus, the battle will be over today. In the name of Jesus, God will fight for you. In the name of Jesus, I want to read to you from 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 19. The Bible says, And Elisha said unto them, This is not the way, neither is this the city. Follow me, and I will bring you to the man whom you seek. But he led them to Samaria, and it came to pass when they were coming to Samaria, that Elisha said, Lord, open the eyes of this men that they may see. And the Lord opened their eyes and they saw and behold, they were in the midst of Samaria. Glory to God. They were distracted. These people came, hurting for the life of Elisha. I don't know who has been hurting your life. Anyone, any power, hunting and looking for an opportunity to have what that belongs to you. I declare in the name of Jesus, the Lord will turn the situation against them. They will be manipulated themselves. They will be distracted in the name of Jesus. Anyone looking for you, haunting your life to destroy it. I declare in the name of just such forces are broken in Jesus' name. Any monitoring force surrounding you for attack, surrounding your life for attack, they are frustrated in the name of Jesus. Listen to me that robbers enter into a house does not mean they are going to succeed. There is a power that holds things against men who are rising against God. I declare such forces are steered by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. A brother shared a testimony recently of how some robbers entered into his room. They came into his apartment and they've been moving from flat to flat and they broke into his own flat and he said when he saw they were trying to make their way inside, he carried a mantle we had blessed from church and he placed it on his, around his neck and he said as soon as the robbers entered into the room where he was. They all fell under the power. They got up and they ran off. I get, I pray this for someone under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, you have deliverance from your enemies in the name of Jesus. Everyone wanting to disgrace you will see disgrace. Left, right, center in the name of Jesus. I want to show you from the word of God in 1 Kings, you read from verse 22. The Bible shows us a story about how a king went into battle Battle. The Bible told us how the king Jehoshaphat went with his friend. I want to read to you from verse 30. And the Bible says, And the king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, I will disguise myself and enter into the battle, but pull thou on thy robes. And the king of Israel disguised himself and went into the battle. And the king of Syria commanded his thirty and two captains that had rule over Shara, saying, Fighting either with small or great, save only the king of Israel. In other words, 
just have your target as the king of Israel. But the king of Israel are disguised and the king who came to help him, that's the only person wearing the robe of a king in verse 32. And it came to pass when the captains of the chariot saw Jehoshaphat, they said, surely it is the king of Israel. And they turned aside to fight against him and Jehoshaphat cried out. And it came to pass when the captains of the chariot perceived it was not the king of Israel that they turned back from pursuing him. I came to pray over someone here today. Whoever has disguised to make evil run after you, every disguise in the realm of the spirit, whoever is pretending, listen to me, men were assigned to a man, but the man are disguised. In other words, the Bible told us, if Ken was not taken, he would have become a victim of his three bullets. He would have received an attack that was not his own. He would have become a victim of a situation and a battle that was not his own. Anyone that has changed identity to attract battle to you, in the name of your last three bullets, it's them. In the name of Jesus, there are arrows you can't hide from. I pray in the name of Jesus, every wrong identity attracting arrows to your life, attracting arrows to your business, attracting arrows to your children. I declare in the name of Jesus, it returns to the sender. I see a woman, I see you with a big leg. The leg has been swelling, I command right now. The anointing of the Holy Ghost comes upon that leg. In the name of Jesus, that swollen leg in Jesus' name. It comes back to normal in Jesus' name. I declare you are blessed in the name of Jesus. Every wrong thing happening around your life, the Holy Ghost brings correction to it in Jesus' name. I declare you are blessed in the name of Jesus. Can I pray for someone here? There are 27 people under the sound of my voice. I decree now in Jesus' name. Between now and the next 6 hours, 15 minutes, I command in the name of Jesus, unusual money shall enter your hand. In the name of Jesus, the Lord shall cause his glory to rise upon you. In the name of Jesus, you will see strength testimonies these days. In the name of Jesus. God bless you and have a wonderful day ahead in the name of Jesus. You want me to pray with you or you're going through anything and you want me to counsel with you, I would like you to reach me directly on 0063766869 and you can either send an SMS or you can send a message through WhatsApp. God bless you. Have a wonderful day ahead and never forget we are here to pray for you. Your success is our success. Your lifting is our lifting and listen, your life is the proof that God called us. Have a wonderful day ahead in Jesus' name. God